Hey everybody, thanks for being here. This week we're on the northern Oregon coast fishing for fall run Chinook salmon with Anytime Charters. Now if you want to learn how to catch more fish, stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf and this is Angler West Television. We're going to go down to a little spot called the Dinner. Um, we're going to start off there. We passed up a couple pretty good holes this morning here and uh, run some bobbers, some smaller bobbers with some smaller line today. Water's pretty low. We're gonna capitalize. No, no big stuff, no big two ounces. Try not to spook the fish and get our fish real quick and get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna anchor up here this morning. This will be the first hole we fish. There's a nice little seam over there on the other side of the river. Usually produces a couple. We'll start here and try to get the day started. Uh, ready? Yeah. Stump it down, bud. Have you ever caught a salmon before? No, first first time. Got some roe we're gonna use today. Nice pretty eggs. I'm gonna put a little sand shrimp on there and a little bit of fish. Throw a little proke here on there and watch the bobbers bury. A little bit of breakfast this morning right here. Cut up a couple chunks of fish here. Be able to slide it on the hook with it. What is that? that fish. you're using. <laughs> what kind of fish? Good good oily fish. Okay. A little bit of TB. Tuna belly? Tuna belly. Right. I got these things stuffed in there. Oh yeah. Gonna run a little bit of fishy on there. Put that down. Grab a little chunk of row here. Are you to make a cast, Captain? No. no. <laughs> make sure you got your egg loop. Find the skein in the back there. Roll it over. Put that right in there. Nice little bait up there. Then you grab a little, little sando here. Doesn't really matter how you put these things on either. Just thread them on there. Try to get the tough part of it. Now you got a nice little bait up. You want that hook sticking out there. That way when they bite it, it goes right in their mouth. It's oh, a lot of bait. <laughs> we just got a regular Shimano reel. Smaller style for the smaller water. Um, these right here, that's your release right there, okay? Okay. Push that. It lets it out. And all you got to do is just click it over. It automatically reels, okay? I'll set the drag tensioner a little tighter for you. That way you don't have to worry about backlashing. I can get it open. Keep your thumb on it. These things open right here. You can pop a couple of these things out. Pop that one. That one. That'll help you keep it from backlashing there. So now when you do this, just rear back, just let her fly. Just like that and you want to remember too when you're casting you want to mend your line without moving your bobber very much you want your bobber to free float as much as possible and be non-resistant you know so if you're mm -hmm. dragging it those fish aren't going to bite see how i'm mending my line like that mm -hmm. and you can click it over a little bit just make sure it goes down as natural as you can possibly get it okay okay here you go right. and remember if that thing goes down Reel down on it and set the hook as hard as you can. Okay, let it go now. Keep letting line out. Yep. Okay, you can reel it in now. Wore our skein out a little bit. So instead of just putting a fresh bait right on, you can give it a little booster with a little bit of procure on there. A little tuna sauce. Let's see your bait here real quick. Mm -hmm. Just kind of boost it up a little bit here. Make sure you put a bunch of it on there. Oh yeah, there we go. Saves a little bit of bait doing that way. You're not just ripping bags off and going for it. All right. You got this. You got this. I don't want to hit Confidence this is the guy key. Guy over here. Yeah, you might want to tuck your head. Okay, let's see. Nice long. A little bit of thumb. 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 
Perfect. Ooh. See, you got it. Well, sometimes what they'll do is they'll come up and nose on it. They'll just smell it and come up and, and but sometimes they'll just take it down. So as soon as you see that bobber twitch, you know, and you'll know you're getting a bite. And if that thing goes down, just give a couple cranks and just set the hook as hard as you can. If you don't feel tension on there, mm -hmm. it, rear it down a little bit more and set again until you feel something. And until you get that down, you know, just kind of keep doing that. And you'll know as soon as you get one, you'll feel that rod stricken bent over and you'll have a big old king on there. Okay, it's a little wore out, but we'll give it one more cast. One more cast. Yep. Okay. You want to try to get it right, right, up, right up in that area right there. Watch your head over here. Not, you don't want to take an eye out. You got her down. <laughs> Just like that. Takes a couple times. Welcome back to the Oregon coast. I'm Justin Wolf. We're with Captain AJ. The good stuff. <laughs> along with his Uncle Bob and Carissa Shaner, who's hoping to land her first salmon today. All right, I'm casting again. Watching what I do head. I have hooked someone in the face before. <laughs> when I was a that kid. That was so. a perfect cast. Sweet. That was Thanks. a perfect cast. You are in the money right there. You know, mend it real quick. So your bobber's pointing down river. Oh yeah. So you how want it to point straight up. Okay. So when I say mend it, you just go just like this, all the way to your bobber. Okay. And then see how it, now it's going real natural right I there. See. And then do that one more time. That's one of the biggest tricks to bobber fishing. You don't want a big bow in your line because then your bobber's not doing the, what the current's doing. Yeah. And that's the last ones I got were right in there. Right there. I'm gonna go off on a whim and say there's nothing in here. Good find new spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is, isn't one of our go-to holes, but we kind of jump down here just to make sure there's no boats coming by us here. We wanted to just try it real quick and. There ain't much in here, so we're gonna go down to some some prime real estate. <laughs> yeah, I've had pretty much zero rain in the last seven days, and the river. Well, we're scraping. We'll say that it's pretty low, but there's still fish to be had. Sometimes it's a lot funner fishery when it's low like this. You get to get them on the bobbers, and you don't have to really work as hard for them because you know where they're gonna be in the deeper slots and not kind of scattered through the river. And this next corner down here, if there's not a bunch of Guys fishing on the bank here, we're gonna spend a little bit of time down here. It might be too cold for the farmers. <laughs> I hope it is. It is pretty dang cold. Wanna row? You'll get warm. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> See that sun starts banging on the water a little bit. Yeah, it's, fish aren't even rolling yet this morning. We got frost on the ground and it's low water and it's been cold for the last four or five days. So we might just be better off just kind of taking our time here and letting the sun hit the water and seeing if these fish are going to start biting them. Probably going to be the best bet. We'll find out right now. Ooh, reel's freezing up a little bit. <laughs> keep it tight, keep it tight. Yep, always keep that rod bent. There you Ooh. go. Well, we just hooked up on one here and didn't bite very good, so I don't know. What's going on here? It's still pretty cold out this morning. It just barely kind of took the bobber down. But we got a hook in it. Let's find it's not out really what it fighting is here. very hard. Keep reeling, reel, reel, reel. He's swimming up. Reel, reel, reel. Just keep reeling, keep reeling fast, fast. It's coming right to us right now. It's cold out, so these fish are probably kind of in shock. But we got a double on. Got a double going. All right, these things are starting to go now. Ooh. Keep that rod up. Yep, there you go. All right. <laughs> First Chinook ever have it on, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that sun needs to come out just a little bit. It's better on the hands and the fish. <laughs> it looks like about a 25 pounder. Fairly bright.
Then he just took it down and held it down nicely. Oh yeah. That water just needed, I think that sun just kind of hit the water a little bit and just sparked them. Oh, he, never mind. He mad. He does not want to come in. Keep doing that right here. Oh, he's roll, coming. Roll again. Keep, keep him coming. If you keep his head going one direction, don't keep steady pressure on uh -huh. him. Yep. Keep reeling. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep reeling. Pump him up there. <laughs> it's a little hard. Can I walk up the bank just a little bit? Up the bank, yep, back up just a little bit. Don't trip though. You point your rod down river a little bit. There you go. Mm -hmm. I just kind of pull back. Oh, let him. Not a real chromer though. We might let this one go here. Point, tip your rod up just a little higher. There you go. Now reel down on him and pump him up. Yep, nice and easy on the pumps. Yeah, bring it down here. Go that on. Dang. I'm losing him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Go down on him there. Yep, keep that tight. Now nice and slow on the pump up. Pump, slow. Can do it one more time. Right on. I'm going to slide this nice. back in the river. All right. This guy too? I think we're going to... Well, this one swallowed it. So I think we're going to we're going to bonk this one here. The hooks, you can see, all the way down its throat there. Good job. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> We're on the Oregon coast where Carissa Shaner has landed her first ever Chinook with the help of Captain AJ, along with Bob Graham making it a double. Despite the low water, there seems to be good numbers of fish, so maybe this won't be her only opportunity. Oh, that one's going to cut nice. Yeah. I like to just let him sit in the water here, inside the boat, just to get all the blood out of it. That way it's nice, clean meat. So we'll just let her sit here. We'll get a fish, get that thing tagged on her tag there and get all set up to get another one. <laughs> do you have an e-tag or do you have Yeah, a... I have the e-tag here. Gonna juice it up a little bit here with some froke here. Throw some tuna on there. Make it smell good. We're getting little nosers going through here. So maybe this will liven them up a little bit. <laughs> all right. Awesome. See if it works. Give that a shot. Crap. Oh, I got it. Oh, nope. nope. That's your bait. Crap. Son of a. <laughs> Dang. I was going to grab a rod too, and I think I was going to go. <laughs> Next time you might want to. Okay. We're just kind of moving fishing now. You know, not real good hole, but we've got to, got to fish it real quick, run a couple bobbers through there to make sure we're not missing nothing. Mend it one more time. There you go. You got him. You got real, 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 real. Oh, it came out. Oh, it came off. Didn't set it hard enough. Ah. Not quite hard enough. That's okay though. That was great. <laughs> At least he got on there. Woo! That was great. Uh. Good job, man. <laughs> I felt him on there for You're going to get one right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. He ate a bunch of that off there. <laughs> he ate it all. <laughs> that water was gone. That was sweet. All right. Sorry. Try not to. Eh. Still awkward bringing it in sometimes. <laughs> I'm using a four out hook today. A little smaller. 
make sure that it's low water like this. You don't really need a big hook. Yeah, that was a good bite. Your water's gonna sink right now. <laughs> Remember, set that hook, okay? Okay. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get good at it. Perfect. A little more in. I lost it for a second. Kind of got drug out of it there. End it. Yeah, you got to count to two at least. That way, you know that bobber's not going to come flying back out. Just in your head, just one, two, and then set the hook. I'll open your belt. Get him! You got it, buddy. No. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Heck yeah. oh, you God. did it. That's yeah. <laughs> Like a little bad, maybe. Oh, he's probably gonna take off running here soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just when he runs, just don't pull on him. Yep. Okay. Let the reel do the drag when he runs, yep. That, this is legitimate. This is this is legitimate salmon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down everything. All by myself. Except for I didn't put the bait on, but you know. I'll let you put the bait on next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't want to lose this guy. Hey, don't start talking bad words. <laughs> it's like saying flat tire when you're in the woods. <laughs> sure. it feels a nice, seems like a nice fish, yeah. Hopefully we get to find out here. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the Oregon coast. I'm Justin Wolf. As the Go Fish Cam shows us, the river is loaded with salmon, so good technique and good bait go a long get way. Him, get him. You got him, buddy. Woo! Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Heck yeah. Oh, my you God. did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's big now. Now it's got some weight. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a little one. <laughs> I thought so. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, it's in the front. Yeah, I noticed that it's in the current. Yeah, yep, that way now. Give him a little pull that way and try to get him. Oh, that's a cromer. Oh, it's crawling. That's oh a God. beautiful fish. Things just happen now. Now we know it's a good fish. It's a, it's a cromer. Things are getting a little more serious. Yeah. What's that, AJ? I said things are getting a little more serious now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really nice fish. No pressure. Either. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> I'm just focused. Oh crap! Come on. Oh yeah, that's You're a toad. Great, I can't even see where he is. I know, I'm trying to... He's up, up river there. Okay, there you go. You caught him out of the current. You got him out of the current. Get all the net back men out here. Make sure we're ready. I'm, 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 I'm impressed. I mean, I, I, I airballed three of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you only airballed one, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one, I think. Nice and easy. Reel down, reel down, and lift up, yeah, lift up real strong. Yep. Oh, wow. Reel down again, reel down again. And lift real gently. Yep, nice and easy. It's going to make another run on you. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Okay, there's a log right here, okay? Yeah, I don't want to go over there. Mm -hmm. Stay right where you're at, right there. You're perfect. Okay, now pump him. Yep, pump and reel. It's not done. No. Oh, I thought we'd get a nice quick swoop, swoop on it right there, but that didn't happen. Okay. Point that way. 
Reel down on it, reel down, reel down. Now pick up. Yep. Point the rod up river. Yep, there you go. Reel down. Reel down. Watch that front anchor too, Bob. Pick up nice and gently. Reel down. Reel down, reel down. Pick up nice and gently. Nope. Reel down. You want to reel all the way down to your bobber and then pick up. Pick up. Keep hitting that rod up. Rod up. All right. Oh, <sighs> nice that's one. That's a sweetheart, man. That's a good one there. Oh, good wow. job. Nice sea lice down there on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Okay, reel yours in, Carissa. Okay. Pichon! Pichon! Got a little pichon when I'm going at you going near that not very big. You let that guy out fish you like that? Huh? You let that guy out fish you like that? Uh, uh, I guess so. <laughs> oh, Christ. I don't Did you know. See that Let's flash? see. <laughs> oh, I just dropped the net in the water. Dang. <laughs> I guess you gotta jump in for it. <laughs> right? It's not very big, but it's bright. Look at that. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, there would be no show. So please thank them when you can. Now, get out there and do some great fishing.